too funny. It's day 233, and right now the time is 233, and I got to take off in about three minutes to get my daughter from school. Got to make this quick. And today's question, this is a simple question. It's about the E6B flight computer, and uh, I'll get to that in a minute. But first, I want to show you, we're getting ready to post two more pictures for Kyle Parrish, who we had um, one picture up at the old at the old studio. He sent us another new one for both the CFI and CFI 2. So those are prepared. Heather just put them together, and they're going up on the wall over here. We've filled up the left side. Now we're filling up the right side. And we got a bunch of cool advancements that we've been doing. Not going to show you yet, but we've been hard at work putting this new studio together. we got some more equipment coming. It's going to be freaking awesome as soon as we're done. So members, keep sending in your pictures. For the Hogs Wall of Fame, let us know what rating you completed. Give us a little background if you'd like. And we'll get you up on the Hogs Wall of Fame. So the question is, and I have this up on the screen, an older video of mine. A little younger, a little less gray hair. Still got the crazy stuff up on top. And uh, this is from one of our ground school members. And he said, next topic idea, going for my PPL. And he said, flight computer or question mark. No, you can use a whiz wheel, but is it worth buying ASA or Sporty's handheld computer that you can use for the test? And there's somebody trying to bust through on my phone. I don't want to answer the phone right now. In the middle of a video. That's why I don't answer the phone and most of the time my phone is on uh, airplane mode. No, you can use a whiz wheel, but is it worth buying an SA or Sporty's handheld compu computer that you can use on the test? Have you heard it's great for the test, speeds, up, speeds you up? but heard you rarely, if ever, use it after the test. Thanks. Here's my take on the flight computers. In the end, it's, it's what your examiner is going to expect at the test. We have this one that we used for some past training. I have my original E6B. Looks just like that, but it's a small cardboard job that I bought back in the late uh, 1990s. And that's what I still have to this day that I still use. And guess what? I do not own an electronic E6B computer. So, a lot of people are gonna go, oh my God, you know, old school, grandpa, whatever. But you know what? I never spent the money on one of those fancy electronic ones. You're more than welcome to. In this day and age, examiners are now accepting a lot of electronic devices on um, check rides. Some are still doing it old school. Some are wanting it all electronic. So, I can't answer that question. I keep saying I can't make a blanket statement, I can't. So use what you want. I prefer, and I like the handheld whiz wheel. I've been using it so many years. It's just easier for me. I can imagine getting a new electronic job and I gotta put batteries in it and charge the damn thing and plug stuff in. I have no need for it. I can just use my fancy old or non-fancy cardboard $8 E6B. So there's my take on the E6B. Sorry, it's not gr uh, great and exciting. Can't tell you what E6B Electronic computers are cool. Put them down below if you like. 20 years of flying, it's all I've ever used. I don't have one of the fancy electronic jobs. So, I gotta get going. Like, I literally gotta run out the door. So subscribe to the channel, click the bell, be notified of our daily video. Day 233, we'll see you tomorrow in day 234. Helicopterground.com to check out our private commercial CFI and instrument courses. See you tomorrow. Peace out.